Aha, dinky doo my hearties. A very, very good morning to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. Just to say hi to every single one of you. It's just gone half past ten. It's 10.31 on Tuesday, and uh, it's lovely to have you with us. Ruben was on first. You were, Ruben. You were definitely on first this morning, and that is a fantastic piece of work. Well done. And I take it you've followed me, Ruben. So there you are. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Follows back. Lovely to have you with us, and a big dinky-doo to your excellent stuff. There we go. Good morning to everybody. Anto's just joined us, and Lamb Chop has just joined us. A very warm welcome, guys. Spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live on TikTok. This is the big one, TikTok Stop Talk Show, and that saves you having to scroll because you are here already. Tell us where you're watching from. Give us a little bit of background information, a little bit of bio, a little bit of chit-chat, and uh, see what is what. Rick has just joined us. Good morning, Rick. Get following, guys, as soon as you come on, please. We want 25,000 followers, and I want you to be one of them because you are a very special person. It's as simple as that. And this is where we get together. There's no tricks. There's no carry-on. There's no nonsense. This is just where we want to put together the world mm -hmm. talking to the world. That's what it's about. So lovely to have you with us and get following as soon as you can. Lee Mills. Fantastic. Thank you, dear. I hope your show is outstanding. Wonderful to have you with us. Union, thank you for joining us. Come and join. Tap, 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 tap on the likes. Lots of sharing. There's lots of TikTok videos for you. And uh, these are excellent stuff. So thank you for following, Lee. Tremendous. Good morning. And now from Norwich. Oh, Lee. Norwich. What a beautiful city that is. Welcome, welcome, welcome from Norwich. We love it. Tremendous stuff. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Junyun, for all these lovely likes. 163 likes. And we've just popped up, guys. I can't believe it. Outstanding. Hiya. Hiya, Joyce. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining us. Have you followed Joyce? We're trying to get 25,000 followers. And, uh, you know, at the moment, we've only got 21,000. So we need to get that up a good bit, I say to you. So hi up and lovely to have you with us, Joyce. And a big dinky-doo from Scotty McClue. Good morning, guys. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are live on TikTok. That's the big one. Tremendous stuff. Good morning, Scotty. From the lovely Isle of Isla. Ah, Stevie boy. Come ha umaha ha ha Fauci, Fauci, ki da mili Fauci, don Ayla. Agus TikTok, agus Scotchach Macluch. There we are, we love Ayla. Where are you? Are you at Port Askig, Port Ellen? Are you at Beaumont? Are you at, uh, where else would you be? Are you at Lafroig? Yes, indeed, do tell us. Scotty, how do you do? Dinky do. Smackadillus, dinky do to you. And how do you do? Welcome, welcome, I say. Hello, my mate. How do you do? Callum, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, get following, guys. We desperately, desperately want to hit the 25,000 mark. We might even do it in this broadcast if everybody follows. Stevie says, we're at Port Ellen on holiday. How lovely, Stevie. Well, you may not have understood a word of what I said then. I was talking to you in Scottish Gaelic. Little Bright Nameless has followed us. Jennifer's followed. Thank you, Jennifer. Fantastic. Guys, please get following as soon as you possibly can. See if we can achieve our goal for today. Have you been watching the Commonwealth Games from Birmingham? I've watched some of it, Smackadillas. I didn't get to see all of it because I've just been so busy at uh, the time. And it's even getting time to pop up live these days. I want to ask you, am I famous or just well-known? Hello, and Scooby-Doo, Dinky-Doo, Scooby-Doo from England. Follow us as soon as you can. Don't ignore me, mate. Oliver, how could anyone ever ignore you? That would be foolish. You're not funny. Uh, am I not, Oliver? Well, maybe you've got no sense of humor, and maybe I never, ever said I was funny. Aha, uh -huh. there we are. I'm seven foot two, says uh, Stinko. Stinko, fantastic. Just look after your joints. 
That's the only advice I would give you at seven foot two. Oliver says, you're not famous or well-known. Well, two billion people know me, Oliver, which is a quarter of the world's population. And we're trying to work out if that's famous or just well-known. You'll see the video on the TikTok videos. So there we have it. Now, uh, a shout-out for Charlene. Charlene from McDoug. A big shout-out for Charlene. Thank you, do. Thank you. McDoug, have you followed Everybody get following, guys. Very important. Thank you for following. User 74218. How are you? Says Callum. We're fine, Callum. The better for having you on. Lovely to have you with us. And a massive dinky do. I say, this is where the world talks to the world. Smackadilla says, most recognized Scott FM radio host in the history books. Scotty ain't doing too bad. Do you know, that's amazing, Smackadillas. Fancy you remembering Scott FM, Britain's finest radio hour ever. And do you like gladiator movies? I don't watch a lot of them, Freddy the Teddy, to be quite honest with you. Do you like them? You know, a shout out now is Sofa. Uh, so I think, Sofa, what we might do with you is give you a lifetime ban. I'll tell you what we could do with you. No, we'll give you a lifetime ban for being an idiot and thinking that that sort of caca goes well on Scotty McClure. What an idiot. There we are. They're so far away doing the soiree. He's toast. That's it. Wonderful. Right. Wonderful. We like that. Dinky do. Uh, are you a Rangers man, Scotty? Well, um, I'm, I'm not really a football man at all, but what I would advise you to do is Go and see them play, and if you like them, follow them or follow the Celtic. You know, not a problem, I can tell you. Uh, there's David Dinky do Get following, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Scotty McClue, just for you, saying Dinky do and a very good morning on this beautiful morning. Hello from Jersey and the Channel Islands. James, we love you in Jersey. Do you have the Jersey cows? Do you have the creamy milk? How beautiful is that? What's your favorite sport, Scotty? Well, Callum, I used to be a rower. I did rowing, and I put it on my CV, and people thought it was rowing. So that wasn't so good. And uh, also, I did a lot of rugby. Front row prop, second row, that kind of idea. Down fast. Boom! Fantastic. Rangers or Celtic? Go and see them both play, David, and then make your mind up. That's the best advice. Scotty doing while well, watching the TV, I enjoy Midsummer's Poirot, Bullseye, and Supermarket Sweep. Well, smackadillas of all of that, I have seen Midsummer's, and I've seen Poirot, and I used to like Bullseye. Yes, Jim Bowen, I knew Jim, and Supermarket Sweep. Um, I watched Moss the other day again, and uh, love Moss. And John Thor was just 60 when he passed. Lovely, lovely actor, beautiful actor. And, of course, we love Moss. So what's the agenda today? Well, follows back one of the busiest days of my life. Yet, yet, I make time to pop up to speak to you. I think that's important. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Lewis. Lewis or Louis, how do you be liked to refer to as? How do you be liked to refer to as? Hello, Scotty. Hello, Louis. Or Lewis. I had a great friend called Louis, who's an ex -hor. Marvelous man. Uh, there we are. Come and join us as soon as you can. Pronounced like Louis. Ah, right, Louis. So, so, I, so I call you Louis. Is that right? Wonderful. Thank you for the response, Scotty. Always appreciate the lives. So great to talk to a radio icon. Smackadillas. It's great to talk to you on TikTok. Black pudding or white pudding? Both. Uh, yes, perfect. Perfect, Louis. Thanks very much. Uh, we ever in the forces, Scotty? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's for me to know and for you to find out. I can tell you. There we are, Dinky Doo. Hi, everybody. Hi, just me. Well, if it ain't Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo, 3542. If it ain't you, Dinky Doo, both at the same time. That would taste a bit funky. No. Black pudding, one is blood pudding, and the other is meal pudding. 
So you can have uh, both puddings together if you fancy. I can remember uh, a gentleman, an army gentleman, doing me a proper fry up one morning, and there was black pudding and white pudding. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can to support the LGBTQ community. It's actually LGBTQ. It's not LGBTQ. So there we are. So, Stephen, come on, get it right. Uh, LGBTQ. And um, I think it should be LGBTQS to include straight people. And then we can all support it, you see. Uh, where was the radio station you worked at? Oh, Mrs. Larney. I've been on 35 radio stations. Ha <laughs> ha, I know. I wouldn't be messing. There you are, Smackadillas. There we are. Uh, Stephen says, I am gay and I get confused. LMAO. No, LMAO is different from LGBTQ. Hello, everybody. Thank you, do. Fantastic. Uh, and now, who have we got here? Hello, says Paddy. Hello, Paddy. Lovely to have you with us and a massive dinky do from Scotty McClue. Uh, Fernando, thank you very much for all my likes. And has everybody followed? Very important. Lots of new videos for you guys. Do you support Scottish independence? Well, I'm not political. So I'm not bothered about the political side of it. I'm not a party political man. And, uh, you know, I think, I think all the parties in the Scottish Parliament should support Scottish independence. Scotland's actually always been independent for hundreds of years. It's just the last 313 have been a blip. The Union, there is no case for it. It's built on sand, skullduggery and jiggery-pokery, so it needs dismantled and perhaps put back together again. Follow us as soon as you can. Window dinky do. Uh, please, can we have your roadman impression? Smack it us. Stop, go, man. Flick the sign round. And then they get a wee bit annoyed with you. You know that one, don't they? So there we are. Roadman impression for you. Sean Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, I say. You're all watching Scotty McClue. Please get following. We need 25,000 followers. We've got 21,000. Can we get 4,000 followers at one sitting? That's perfect. Fantastic. Did you like that, Smackadillas? What about Pinocchio? Oh, Pinocchio. Actually, Pinocchio is uh, leaving. Pinocchio is resigning. We don't know if he has or not. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Very important to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo. Check out all the TikTok videos because they're made with love for you. So there's no reason for you not to watch them all. What's the dog in the picture behind you? What you mean is, who's the dog? That, Mrs. Larney, is Lord Reith the Labrador. Isn't he gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous guy. And uh, you'll see a picture of him on a TikTok video, very recent. So go and have a look at that. And Lord Reith never, ever missed a radio show. He used to lie under the desk at nights. Uh, I'm thinking of going to America to do all the television and radio. We're very big in America. Scotty, if you could make anyone PM, celeb, politician, public figure, who are you choosing? Well, I did wonder, Smackadillus, about Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister of Scotland, because she's excellent and she's highly experienced. And she might make a superb Prime Minister. And while she's down there, she could probably manage to um, get the UK divided up properly into fair equals. Do you see what I mean? So I think she would be an excellent PM uh, from that point of view. And another thing I would like, my favourites, Alsatians, says Mrs. Larney, ah, from Alsace, the German Shepherd. What a lovely thing. There we go. Uh, so Dean, go and grow up, son. I think what we'll do is we'll maybe mute you. No, we'll leave you. I don't believe the UK should be divided up personally. Well, Mrs. Larney, I believe it should simply because Scotland gets a rough deal. 
If you don't believe it should be divided up, then you have to say why, because there's no case for the Union, and Scotland's been independent for hundreds of years. You see? So, uh, you know, if you can make a case for the UK, Mrs. Lani, let's hear it, but Brexit was the one that clobbered it. Brexit clobbered the UK. So if you don't believe that, then we should have stayed in Europe. Yes, Brexit was madness, sheer madness. Uh, so there we are. Follow back. No, follow back. I'm sorry. I don't refer to the First Minister as anything but the First Minister or Nicola Sturgeon or Ms. Sturgeon. So you with your showbiz names. And uh, they're both very, very talented ladies, by the way. There we are. Only the government causes Scotland to get the rough deal. Absolutely, Mrs. Larney. Yes, the Westminster government. So it's Westminster we're wanting away from, not England or Northern Ireland or Wales. Westminster. That's where we want clear from. There we are. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you. Uh, until Nicola plunges you back into the EU. Fantastic, Alex. Can't think of anything better for us. There we are. Come on, sir. It's only a bit of banter. Okay, follow us back. We'll let you away with it this time. But we are a sort of nice, kind, grown-up bunch. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to take a sip of tea. You'll see that the wrong way round, are you? For some reason, we can't do this on TikTok now. I used to be able to sort it just at a tap. Ah, that's absolutely lush. It really is. Um, Nicholas Sturgeon, uh, who else have we got? Yes, you've got some good people there. Uh, what I would like to also see is an emergency government put in place as soon as possible. Right? The Tories are still largely barging over leadership. That's fine. But they're not running the country properly. And I think we should have an emergency government, a national government, and I was thinking a good idea would be to make it up of prime ministers. So you could have John Major, excellent, Tony Blair, um, Gordon Brown. Uh, who else have we got? Um, Oh, there's, there's, there's lots. Former prime ministers and a national emergency government to deal with the cost of living crisis and sort out the fuel companies once and for all. So you can't be as greedy as that and upping people's bills. Bring the bills down. The more profit you make, the more you bring the bills down. Scotty, my friend, what's new with you? Well, Adam, I'm just saying, replacing Westminster for Brussels, yes. Because remember, Westminster takes and Brussels gives, right? We begged on our bended knees in this country. A lot of you are too young to remember. We begged on our bended knees to be part of Europe. And we got told no by General Charles de Gaulle. Which I thought was a bit mean of General de Gaulle after we'd done so much for him during the Second World War in France. However, that doesn't matter. We begged and begged and we kept begging. And eventually, in 1971, we got accepted and got in, best thing we ever did. And then we had 50 years of peace and prosperity. We had the terrific strength of 52 other countries. Yes? And hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people, 510 million people. Not bad for when you're negotiating a trade deal, I can tell you. So that's what we should have done. Brussels, let's get back in there. ASAP. Okay, fair play. My lips are sealed. Follow back, no problem. What do you boss around, boss? Well, I don't really boss anybody. I just am the boss. Always have been. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, there we go. I feel that if a new Westminster government was put in place, it would change drastically. Well, I think an emergency national government, and once we get the country running properly and people's bills down, then they could, you know, you could either call a general election or let the Tories go back in for now. 
uh, you know, because Jeremy Corbyn was very close to getting elected, and then he got uh, absolutely assassinated, metaphorically speaking, by the mainstream media. There we have it. Surely that contradicts your point about self-governance. No, no, you're missing the point, Alex. Self-governance within the EU. This country self-governed over 50 years of being in the EU. And you're getting away from the toxic union, which is Westminster. Yeah, I mean, this country should not, Scotland should never, ever, ever be run by Boris Johnson. I can tell you that for nothing. I can't believe Liz Truss actually has a chance of being PM. Neither can I, Mrs. Lani. Especially after what she said about Nicholas Sturgeon last week. That was just shocking on a very, very, very basic level. It was appallingly bad mannered. Now, that's not good for a prime minister, I can tell you. Whereabouts are we at? The honest answer is we're here. We're absolutely here. It is what it is. It's happening now. If you owned that mug in Yorkshire, it would say, to boss. Well, absolutely off, you know, to boss. I is to boss. That's it. I'm the old world's only honorary Yorkshireman. It's not bad, is it? The world's only honorary Yorkshireman. Mm -hmm. Guys, can you get following, please? We need followers. Are you Millwall? Uh, no, I'm Scotty McClure. I don't know who Millwall actually is. Uh, doesn't that contradict your point? No. Nope. Uh, Scotland, Wallace and Gromit should be running Britain. Well, sometimes I think that they'd make a better job. Sometimes it looks like they are. Yeah, and how many illegal in immigrants were well, your illegal immigrants? only started pouring in after Brexit because Europe thought, right, I mean, behave yourselves. We're not doing the job for you, so you take them all in. Fantastic. So there we are. Make a government up of non-elderly, non-rich members without pay. Well, that's what I was thinking. I don't know about the non-rich, but, uh, you know, I was thinking about former prime ministers. I don't think they would need to be paid all that much. Have you ever had a really heated argument about politics on a radio show, Mrs. Lannerly? Sometimes for three hours a night, we've had really heated arguments about politics on a radio show. Is Scotty McClue famous or well-known is today's question? Two billion people have heard of me. So there you are. What did you think the USA should do for expensive fuel costs? I think they should bring Donald Trump back. I think Donald Trump will be coming back. Phil's joined us. Guys, have you all followed me? Get following, please. Good morning, Scotty Powell. Good morning, Phil. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. I'm one of those two. Absolutely. The USA should not destroy their own oil refineries to bump prices. <coughs> there shouldn't be any bumping of prices. Scotland should be getting almost free energy. I'm 49, Scotty. I can't see independence in my lifetime, I'm sad to say. Well, it's only a year, so you'd only be 50 at the time of the referendum. Now, if the referendum was successful this time, if we made sure that the Queen was our head of state and got the full loyalist vote on top of all the other stuff, Made sure that we never, ever, 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 ever talked about a republic, then um, I see no reason why Scotland shouldn't be independent within your lifetime. Get following, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Are you Scottish? Liam, nothing gets past you, does it? I can't hide it, you know. Nor would I want to. Millwall is a football team. Oh, Millwall. Oh, I've heard of Millwall. Yeah, absolutely. There we are. Do they not tend to do, do the supporters not do a bit of fighting? Uh, can you give us a synopsis of your morning so far? Yes, I rose, I rose at seven o'clock this morning and gave my face a wash. And um, I uh, then went on TikTok Live at 7.30 exactly and did about uh, 15 minutes chit chat to a few hundred people. And then I um, did some reading and some studying 
and uh, I'm now about to uh, hang out the washing and finish up the kitchen and then go into the study and tidy up a lot of paperwork. Yes, absolutely. Very, very important. Uh, Dunno about the non-rich. No, well, you see, rich people bring a lot of experience very often. You know, I can remember somebody saying stupid people make money, and they were told by this very learned tutor, no, stupid people do not make money. If you make money, you're either very clever or very crooked. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? It's the illusion of money that corrupts any positive action. Well, you see, we don't need a lot of money. I think if we said you can have money, but you need to tell us what it's for, you need to um, probably have a cap. You see, I think this was why Brexit was forced upon us and the soft-headed ones were were sort of led down the garden path or up the garden path to vote for Brexit because it benefited a handful of billionaires who didn't want Europe sticking their nose into their financial affairs. Uh, so there we are. So you're quite right. And money is an illusion, actually. Okay, you need to get some currency to uh, get your shopping in and what have you and pay your bills. But money itself is something of an illusion. The Privy Council's made up of them and have a lot of power. Privy Council, very good. They should maybe put the Privy Council into government. You see, you see, the Queen herself doesn't have the power to actually govern. Perhaps uh, we should give her more power. The Royals used to have more power, but she can warn and advise. But if you look at somebody like um, the Prime Minister, the outgoing Prime Minister, I can't really see him taking warnings or advice. He's so very sure that he's correct. Was Brexit a mistake? Brexit was an appalling mistake. Because I said at the time, two things will happen with Brexit. It will be um, financial, economic annihilation. And it will also mean the fragmentation of the United Kingdom. And these two things are coming to pass. So I was correct, you see. People should actually start listening to me. I know I like a bit of fun. But I do talk a huge amount of great wisdom. I uh, learned at my grandfather's knee. So, yes, Brexit was the biggest mistake since World War I. The world needs Trump. Chris, I actually agree with you. I think we need to get the Donald back. Yes, indeed. All the rich need strung up. We need to take all the wealth from them. No. No, John, that's just an idiot's comment. Now, I'm not saying you're an idiot but you've made an idiot's comment, right? The rich do not need strung up. The world benefits hugely from rich people. We just need to get um, a little bit of modification and mitigation into the rich, which is what Europe were going to do when the rich really, really, really put pressure on people to get us out of Europe. Yeah, okay. So they don't need strung up, you know, and... Uh, Redis total redistribution of wealth is actually not wise. An amount of redistribution of wealth, wise. Okay? So you never do anything too punitive. Think Treaty of Versailles, 1919, to put an end to the First World War, caused the second one effectively. Too punitive. Right? Once you've got your enemy on the canvas, that's it. You let them go. Good morning, Michigan here. TikTok, good morning, Michigan. Michigan, I've been told, not Michigan. Michigan, Lake Michigan. Am I correct? Lovely to have you with us. TikTok, Gary. Uh, pool, uh, dinky-doo. If people actually go off their sofas and overrun the government, that's a change. No, you don't ever overrun a government. What you do is you have a very, very powerful opposition nipping at their heels. That's what you need. What's your favourite football club? I do like Arsenal. I went down to audition for Big Brother at the Emirates Stadium in London, and it was Arsenal's ground, and I could look out the window and see it. I do like this. 
I really do. Of course, Manchester United, very big. Morton, Greenock Morton, Mon the Ton. Yes, indeed. Rangers and Celtic. What's your favourite football club? So that's that one. Success does not come from being complacent. No, Mason, and we are not being complacent. So we will have success. We've all heard of you, but I think I'd walk past you in the street, no disrespect. Follow us back. I might just walk past you in the street, no disrespect. That's not a problem, not a crime. In fact, I would be absolutely delighted if you walked past me in the street because it would show that all my years in radio, I'd managed to keep myself hidden. Tremendous on the radio, you see. Uh, but as long as you've heard of me, that's fine. There's certainly no disrespect there. Um, I've, I mean, I've only become public recently because, well, obviously, I did a lot of television in my early days. I've only become public recently because of TikTok and YouTube. You know, that's what it's about, unless you had your hat on. Well, I can remember standing outside a store in a place called Greenock, and this uh, lovely chap came up and he said, are you who I think you are? And I said to him, well, that depends on who you think I am. He went, Scotty McClure. I said, yes, I am. Guilty as charged. <laughs> Do you like oxygenated potatoes? I, I don't know if I've had them. I'll tell you what I had recently, crushed potato on a menu. And it was effectively mashed potato with little bits of bacon and herbs through it. Absolutely fantastic. The Privy Council can enact emergency legislation. Well, I think they should, Andrew. Bypassing Parliament, I think they should. All standing. I think if I was ever to get honoured by Her Majesty, then PC would rank very, very highly. I've, I've met a lot of PCs. Uh, meet Shop. Meet Shop. Meet Shop. Oh, you're a mate on a ship. Fantastic, dinky you do. You're a member of the Navy. Uh, how's your day been, Scotty? Outstanding so far, AJ. So there we are. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. We need to get 25,000 followers today. Now, come on. You can help. If you haven't followed, just get following. I think you go up to the top left and click the plus sign. And I've got lots of new videos for you, so I want you to have them. Britain needs to get rid of the criminal cartel. Ah, AJ says, don't talk to Scotty like that, Jack. This is your final warning. Absolutely, AJ, if Jack acts up, we'll dump him. We'll throw him down the swanee. The world benefits from the rich. Parties only keep their sponsors happy. The rich. No, uh, I think the rich, Mason Wulu, is not necessary are not necessarily as rich as you think they are. So, you know, but nobody needs trillions of pounds. Did you hear about Olivia Newton John? I did, Mrs. Larnery, lovely, lovely lady. Uh yes, George Clemenceau. Did you hear about Judith Durham, Mrs. Larnery? George Clemenceau and his rep reparations for Germany, you're exactly right. Well, do you know? Everybody suffered through that greed uh, and, and avarice and punitive measures. Clemenceau, yes, indeed. And I'll tell you what happened there. You'll know about this, John Ward. Um, but what happened there, <coughs> Britain used to control 75% of the world's coal market. Now, that's serious, serious money. Now, though at that time, the mines were in private hands, so the aristocracy who owned the land and the mines were making some serious money. But 75% of the market, uh, following Treaty of Versailles, they thought they'd be even more punitive to Germany, not the fault of the German people, and said, um, give us cheap coal. So Germany gave them cheap coal, and the bottom fell out, the British market, through greed and avarice and punitive measures to excess. So there we are. Uh, yes, AJ says, Agla Scotty speaks so much sense. Oh, yes, there's a lot of sense. 
Uh, Shuck Do says, Dinky Do, Scotty, good morning, Flutai. Jackie, good morning, First Lord of the Internet here. Lovely to have you with us. The treaty was such cap, heard Stalin split dandruff from his moustache on the treaty. A glass, I'm trying to, there's one or two bits there. Uh, no, you didn't, he says, Jake, didn't he? What? Morning, buddy, you well? Good morning, Haldi. Haldi, how lovely to have you with us. I've been following your lives. Yes, indeed. I support Arsenal too, AFC. Yes, yes, Scotty. So there we are, guys. Come on, you spars. Is that right, Aglas? Moniton, absolutely, Rabel. Um, oh, shy, says Aglas. Scotty, I'm so happy today because my dog gave both to eat cats. AJ, stop being silly. There you are. Um, now, what have we got here? Indie Ref? Yes, Haldi, yes, indeed. But under the crown. If they make the mistake of going Republic, gone, finished, toast, kicked into the long grass. The modern-day Praetorian Guard should replace these uh, democratic den of thieves. Ooh, Andrew Hall. Oh, there we are. Somebody said, who's going to join that nest of vipers? And a lovely business friend of mine said, another viper, perhaps? <laughs> we love it. Now, here we got Scott, you make proper beater with a flat cap. I don't know who you mean there. Uh, the clips, excellent stuff. Uh, a champ on PC, fantastic. I thank you very much. Where are you from, says Messi? I, Messi, am from uh, Scotland, Shotland. Yes, indeed. At the moment, part of the United Kingdom. But perhaps not for long. So there we get it. We're thankful for your input and wisdom, Scotty. Follow us back. As you know, I am just me. My input and wisdom are 100% free. And I thank you. Uh, well, it made Germany impossible to recover. Yes, it did. Poor old Germany is just recovering now. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Craig Boy. Thank you, AJ. Get following, guys. We're trying to get 25,000 followers. That's my goal on TikTok. Can you help? Uh, thank the good Lord today, Germany is not the Germany of the 1930s. Andrew, Germany are our biggest allies, and with our dear friends Germany, we controlled 30% of the EU. You know, 30% of a market of 510 million people in 52 countries, I mean, steady on. And we chucked it away just to let a few billionaires off with their tax returns. Chucked it away. 70 million people have lost their EU citizenship. And the UK is heading for economic annihilation and political fragmentation as a result of Brexit. £250 billion pounds down the Swanee for absolutely no reason at all. And heaven knows how many illegal people coming in. Morning, Fotai, the wise man, you rouser. And lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. All government are corrupt, war's coming. Well, I don't think we want war, uh, and I'm not even sure that the young people would be interested in fighting each other nowadays. <laughs> you know, the media is not strong enough to convince them to. And uh, also, America has got the largest private army in the world because um, Americans can all, all have guns uh, with the right criteria. Britain's not the same Britain of the same area. No, it certainly isn't, Andrew. A Scottish civil service. Well, we've always had very, very senior civil servants in Scotland. And one of the many, 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 many things I admire about the civil service is that they go about their business with great brilliance and diligence and knowledge and understanding. And we don't ever want to lose that. So we'd be taking a lot of people uh, for a Scottish civil service, probably from the civil service. And we had, um, I think we only have one 
still one permanent secretary. We may have more. A permanent secretary, we've got secretaries, but I think that the Scottish office were mainly under secretaries, uh, under the big boss, you know. Fantastic. I knew a lot of them. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Thank you very much. We need to get 25,000 followers. Scotty, good morning from New Jersey. We love you in New Jersey, Mike. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. Mike Raymond there in New Jersey. Servant Mastermind, the Hong Kong Economic Miracle. Or oh, Hong Kong. I mean, Hong Kong is still doing fantastically well. I can remember during the 99-year lease. It's, it's, is it 25 years since we gave up Hong Kong? Or is it 50? No, 25, is it? Yeah, 25. Nothing. Is that right? 25. Am I, am I right there? Hello from Huntsville, Alabama in the USA, Denise. Sweet home, Alabama. You all have a nice day now. Fantastic. We love you in Alabama in the USA. Dinky do. I was with people from Alabama very recently. Dinky do, Scotty boy. Shout out. For the boys working in Bunt Island. Yes. Now, Jason, I don't know what that stands for, but I will give you a shout out to the boys in Bunt Island. I'm Scottish American. Full blood. Just want to say hello. Hope to visit the mother country someday. Michael, you would be so welcome. <coughs> we absolutely love it. Pardon me. Scotland could do it. A civil servant from here in the 1960s. Masterminded Hong Kong's economic miracle. Listen, Andrew, the Scots made up most of the civil services throughout the uh, the empire. The Indian civil service, the African civil service, the colonial service. You know the um, you know the 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 various senior officers, commissioners, district commissioners, governors. You know, from senior service appointments. Fantastic. The Scots are hugely organized, great administrators. You know, fantastic. And um, I can remember somebody saying to me, just as a throwaway, they didn't really know me. They said, Scotty, you're not really a manager. And then somebody very senior said, Do you know, Scotty, you're one of the finest managers. <laughs> You see, you don't off, always need to wear management on your sleeve to manage situations. And uh, my experience is that some very, very high level um, things are a conversation. So if you said something that you thought was totally impossible, they say politics is the art of the possible. Very interesting because if you get the right political climate, and the right politicians, you can make some pretty big things happen. You know, at the moment, I think they're just playing with it because they haven't a clue what they're doing. So we've got a lot of headless chickens running about. 1997, the handback of the UK. Yes, so that's right. So 25, uh, handback of Hong Kong, sorry. So 25 years ago, yes, the pipes. The pipes playing old Lang Syne. Who was it? Was it the Gordon Highlanders in the band? I think you're in the ballpark about Singapore. Uh, Singapore. Uh, Singapore, yes. I mean, again, yeah, British civil servants and throughout Malaya. But I, I, somebody's telling me about Singapore recently and saying the first thing they will do with a drug dealer if they catch them is hang them. Interesting, isn't it? So there are no drugs floating about. Uh, in uh, in Singapore, they just won't have it. Has anybody else heard that? So there we are. Uh, still a family in Scotland. A bit of a sobering thought that for any dodgy characters. Still have a family. Still have family in Scotland. They keep after me to visit Michael. You would adore it. Uh, we what cheap? No, I mean the the money for the civil service, uh, even uh, abroad throughout the colonies, was uh, would be quite. Good money at the time, the Indian Civil Service uh, and what have you, and the Colonial Service. You're quite correct about management. Better to have influence. Absolutely, Andrew. I can remember leaving a function once, 
and I was with a top agent. And at the time, I was um, earning some quite good money. Well, I thought I was. Apparently, I could have earned an awful lot more. But that's always been the case throughout my life. I mean, I've made probably about two hundred million pounds for um, for media moguls. You know, I would make them a lot more. But as I said to somebody recently, I said, I can't get you an audience if you don't put me on. <laughs> so there you have it. Um, and uh, you know, there's probably only about another 10 or 15 years of work left in me with regards to radio and television. So get your skates on, you guys. Very important. If you run radio or television companies, come and get Scotty McCrew and let's make it happen for you either as an on-air icon or as a, a consultant behind the scenes. As it's uh, one of the big sayings in the media about Scotty McClue is uh, he's remarkably influential behind the scenes. <laughs> Hi, Scotty. Dinky do to you. Dinky do, Alan Mackay. How lovely to have you with us. The Black Watch, Scotty. It was the Black Watch. You're right. Absolutely. I was saying, what was I saying? Did I say the Gordon Highlanders? The Black Watch. Uh, you're quite correct about the management. Yes, indeed. It's not that HMG is badly advised. Uh, it's that they are criminals, says Andrew Hall. Uh, well, I don't think you can say that, although I do re remember a lovely line. I think it might have been from Yes Minister. And somebody said, you can't have a criminal in the House of Commons. And the other line was, well, they'd hardly be conspicuous. <laughs> you remember the, uh, one of the old MPs was flung out he said uh, half of the government are criminals and the speaker said you may not say that withdraw that remark he said alright half of the government are not criminals <laughs> ROFL says Andrew absolutely yes indeed now then so there are so we can't say that about our esteemed government it was Dennis Skinner. Yes, Stephen, you're quite right. It was the wonderful Dennis Skinner. That man is a genius. Regardless of your politics, you see, I'm apolitical. And the beauty about being apolitical in the media, because, I mean, I, I remember somebody said, why is Scotty McClue not on the telly nonstop? I mean, well, we're not too sure of his politics. <laughs> Could you imagine it? There you are. So apolitical. But the beauty of being apolitical is you can admire genius. And if there was ever genius in politics, Dennis Skinner is up there with the genii, uh, the geniuses. When, when another great one was Tony Benn. You know, these are, these are brilliant, brilliant people and thoroughly, thoroughly decent people. You know, and when you see, when you see Dennis Skinner in these younger days as well, Absolute firebrand politics. Brilliant. I can't imagine who said it, but when Margaret Thatcher was speaking one day, uh, one of the members stood up and said, if the Honourable Lady uh, had been 15 years in jail, and this comment went, as eh, she should have been, And the whole house just dissolved into laughter. Nobody could speak for minutes. Uh, incredible. Without doubt, a working people's politician. Yeah, well, Dennis, was Dennis not actually a minor in his early days? You know, I mean, this is where I've been so privileged, so very, very, very privileged in getting to work in areas like Yorkshire. And the northwest of England and the northeast of England and the Midlands of England, because I've had millions and millions of listeners, and a lot of them were ex minors. And we could discuss the whole thing like civilized human beings. This is why I've always advocated you need a Scotty McClue phone in on to know what's going on. And it benefits the politicians as well because they can hear just ordinary people like my good self bantering away, chit-chatting, talking about this, that, and the next thing 
And as we would say in Scotland, saying ichi or ochi. There we are, guys. We've got about another five or six minutes. There we are. Come and join us as soon as you can. Now, I want every single one of you to follow me, please, and check out the TikTok videos. They're brilliant. Uh, although I say it myself, I mean, I'm not saying they're brilliant because I made them. I'm just saying they're brilliant. And uh, they're for you, and they're made with love. So, uh, you know, do yourself the courtesy of watching Scotty McClure's TikTok videos and liking them and sharing them. I think that's important. Uh, Dinky Doo, thank you very much, Phil Johnson, for sharing the live. And please follow as well. Uh, Neem has just joined us. Dinky Doo, Jordy Boys joined us. Yes. Uh, poor Judith Durham has passed away. I'm so sorry. She brought joy to millions, that lady, Judy Durham. Lovely, lovely. A really, really attractive person and personality. And uh, she'd been not very well. I, I knew she hadn't been terribly well. And I remember she, I think she took a stroke some time back. But what a wonderful, wonderful singer. And the Seekers, just huge, you know. Uh, they, were, they were different from the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. They had that lovely, lovely kind of gentleness. Uh, without a doubt, the working people's politician. Well, everybody should be a working person's politician. That's what we should have. Every politician should be working for the people. Are you with me? You know, it's a strange term, the working people. I usually find people that are being anti-monarchists are saying things like, what's this to do with working class people? Now, You've got to watch you don't have a chip on your shoulder because the monarchy is apolitical and it does a great job of curating and the custodians of the crown. Custodian, I'm actually the queen. Scotty, how are you, my dear friend? Honcho, I give you lots of clapping and clapping and clapping. Dinky do. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. I say to you, this has been an incredible pop up this morning, guys. I find the Queen is a good advocate for the public. Andrew, she's an excellent advocate for the public. The royals are virtually self-financing. I think the cost to your average taxpayer is the same as a packet of crisps. Uh, so are other members of the family. Absolutely, Andrew. I mean, Princess Anne, Prince Charles, Prince Edward, you know, and a lot of the youngsters, Prince William and Kate, and the wee ones, lovely, lovely stuff. There we are. Uh, there's Adolf says, Adolf in Brazil. Hello. Hello, Adolf. So there we are. Uh, Adolf in Brazil. Who are you called after, Adolf, I wonder? Uh, fantastic. Right, there's Chris has joined us. Lovely to have you with us, Chris, and thank you very much indeed. Now, have you all watched the videos? Have you all followed me? Get following, guys. Very, very important. The only thing about this cap puts a bit of a shadow. Have you noticed that? A bit of a shadow on there. I tell you, there's Willie Loms just joined us. Thank you, Willie. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. DJ Brian has joined us. DJ Brian, how lovely to have you with us. Welcome, 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 I see. And we've only got another couple of minutes, guys, and then we're going to have to dash. But uh, we might do a phone-in at some point, sooner rather than later. Saturday nights, the phone-in. Happen the bold, Scotty, dinky-doo, dinky-doo, DJ Brian. I hope the DJing is going well. Adolf in Brazil, there is a joke there. Adolf in Brazil. Is there, Andrew? Tell us more. Did they not reckon that Adolf had gone to Brazil and hadn't died after the Second World War? He'd be long away now, of course, because he was born in 1885, I think it was. Uh, what shadow, Scotty? You've been up all night on the... <laughs> and Stuarty mentions a famous whiskey. No, Stuarty, you know I don't drink alcohol nowadays. There we are. Follow us as soon as you can. Miss you on Scott FM, those late night fun ins. Well, some laugh, DJ Brian. Were they not just out to almost quarter of a million people a half hour? I was watching some radio stations got the results last week and they were crowing about the fact that they, you know, they had 100,000 listening and I thought I could have got you that in half an hour. 
Absolutely incredible. Other whiskies are available, though absolutely sturdy. I once went into a malt whiskey shop, and there was a, a lovely American in, and he was discussing, he was deep in discussion with the proprietor about malt whiskies. And he said in this lovely drawl, is there a whiskey between that whiskey and that whiskey? And uh, the whiskey expert said, there are 56. No, sorry, there are 36 whiskies between that whiskey and that whiskey. Would you like me to name them for you? No, no, it's okay. I guess I guess you'll know. I guess you'll know. Fantastic. The Malt Whiskey Shop. There we have it, Dinky Doo. Thank you for all the likes. Guys, I'm going to have to push off. It's heartbreaking because it's been so wonderful being with you this morning. But set your notifications. Let me know when Scott McClure goes live. Get everybody following. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Share the whole TikTok channel with everyone. Uh, look at the videos. Watch, like, and share them because they're made for you. And we will catch up soon with some more pop-ups, maybe even later today. Who knows? Thank you again, beautiful people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, beautiful people. Stay fabulous. Look after your dear selves. And as we say in the very best of circles, dinky-doo, uh, stick out your tongue and say ta-ta. Ta-ta.